When they're not currently tearing up the stage and rousing crowds, the most popular rock artists known all around the world have a bag of cash to splurge on whatever they want. That includes cars, boats, and of course, luxury and flashy real estate. In fact, they're buying so much of it that calling it a portfolio would be an understatement. Leave your envy outside as we take you on a tour of the properties that the biggest rock stars in the world call homes. Our tour starts in Miami, Florida, where we'll stop for a minute to look inside a home that belonged to not just one, but two world-famous stars. But that's nothing unusual if you're in such an exclusive neighborhood as the waterfront of Miami Beach. We're talking about this historic 10,769-square-foot mansion sitting on a 1.2-acre property that has been the residence of Phil Collins since 2015 when he paid for the property at a cool $33 million. In case you've been living under a rock or you were born after the year 2000, Phil Collins is one of the most successful musicians from the 1980s and late 90s, producing hits such as You Can't Hurry Love. As a proper rock star home should, the Mediterranean mansion is built behind a long, gated driveway surrounded by palm trees. If you look at the front of the home, its design might even remind you of a temple. Once you step over the threshold, I guarantee you won't know what to look at first. The home features six bedrooms and 8.5 bathrooms, a huge dining area with arched windows and a kitchen that would make even Gordon Ramsay jealous. There's also a master suite that overlooks the giant backyard with a pool, as well as the family room with a piano, on which Phil Collins undoubtedly played some of his Grammy Award-winning hits. Phil Collins gave up this home in February 2021 for a little over $39 million, but he wasn't the only celebrity to do that. Jennifer Lopez also owned this waterfront property for some time before she waved it goodbye in 2005. The Coldplay singer Chris Morgan has not only a great taste in picking out the best lyrics for his next summer hit, but he can certainly also smell when there's a Great Deal mansion in Malibu waiting to be snapped up. Proof of that is his $12.5 million luxury farmhouse mansion located in the highly sought-after city of Malibu that he snapped up in 2020 with his girlfriend, Dakota Johnson. The home is built behind the private gates to keep out all of the intrusive paparazzi and spans over 5,338 square feet. It consists of sun-filled living spaces boasting high ceilings, five bedrooms, and the same amount of bathrooms, luxurious kitchen with a large island and library. And that's not all. When it comes to entertainment, Chris can watch a movie on a big screen in a private screening room, chill out in the family room, or throw a pool slash barbecue party in his own backyard, and enjoy the views of the ocean. The number of guests is limited due to the size of the backyard. However, for mega parties, Morgan also owns a 99-seat theater complex around the corner that he recently put up for sale for $5.5 million. The homes we've seen so far were pretty traditional luxury mansions without being excessively extravagant. Though you certainly can't say the same about this Nevada retreat that English rocker David Coverdale called his home for more than 30 years. Hiding behind a giant metal gate, this residence is an embodiment of exaggeration and extravagance combined. Just take a look at the rocker lounge full of bespoke zebra skin decor. The couch, pillows, carpet, even the chair's backrest is made of zebra. He installed in his home even a rock and roll hall of fame with a movie theater full of, you guessed it, other animal furniture. But the home also boasts spaces that don't have a visible Coverdale's touch, like this columned, jaw-dropping indoor pool that even comes with a spa center. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to find out the bottom of the pool is made out of seal skin. Speaking of the spa, this guy even had a hot tub right in his master bedroom. That's like every kid's dream. As we pass the private bar and stuffed tiger in the dining room, we'll end the journey of David's 9,000-square-foot fortress on one of the home's giant wooden decks offering fascinating views. Next up on our list, the guy that unbuttons girls' bras just by looking at them. Yep, Adam Levine. Although he owns numerous homes, including the $22.7 million El Miravel Estate and this $32 million mansion, today we're looking at his one-bedroom loft apartment in Manhattan's Soho neighborhood. 
if you're expecting Adam Levine to own an ordinary one-bedroom apartment with little to zero space to move around, you couldn't be further from the truth. Purchased in 2014, this apartment set Levine back $4.5 million and spans just over a massive 2,800 square feet, which is rather impressive for a one-bedroom apartment. You'll get to it by its private elevator. And thanks to the 13-foot high ceilings, the loft looks even bigger and gives a much more airy feel than it actually is. The main living area is made up of several parts, the kitchen, dining area, a game area with a wooden pool table, and a living room featuring a couch with sitting space for at least 20 people. While the main living space and the master suite have mostly an industrial feel, there was certainly no expense spare to make the marble-clad bathroom with a jacuzzi bathtub look like one in a royal palace. Adam Levine ended up selling the property with a $1 million profit just two years after buying it. We could show you the Red Hot Chili Peppers Flea's $4.3 million ultra-modern mansions built on a hillside in California's La Crescenta area that overlooks the valley from its large floor-to-ceiling windows. Or we can just walk you through Gwen Stefani's extravagant California villa she loaded up for $13.3 million in 2006 and sold in 2019 for a cool $21.65 million. The seven-bedroom, ten-bathroom property features everything from an outdoor infinity pool with a spa to a marble bar, playground, cinema, and even tennis court. The interior perfectly reflects Stefani's signature style. Be it the monochrome kitchen and bathroom mixed with bright neon colors in the living room or even the chic retro touches in other house areas. On top, the home sits in a gated community, protected by an armed guard, so you don't have to worry about someone breaching your privacy. And although JLo is as far from a rock star as it can get, we're mentioning her in this video once again, as this exact home was her first ever luxury real estate purchase. But for the last property in this video, we've chosen the one that belonged to the legendary one and only David Bowie. Built in a former candy factory, his luxurious 5,090-square-foot penthouse condo is located between New York's sought-after neighborhoods of Soho and Nolita and comprises four bedrooms and an equal number of bathrooms. The iconic British star paid $3.8 million for the apartment back in 1999 and lived here until 2016 when he tragically lost his battle with liver cancer. The interior is made up of cool living areas and is full of natural light thanks to large windows from which you can look across the entire city from any side of the residence. The apartment also hides a mid-sized library, kitchen with island seating, and this giant master suite taking up more than one-fifth of the entire condo. David got to also enjoy these private terraces, one covered and another fully open air, as well as a rooftop garden. The property hit the market in 2021 and, unsurprisingly, sold in less than 30 days for an impressive $16.8 million.